So I want to introduce to you the concept of classes. So, so far we've been building all these programs uh, within this main class. We have this public class main, and we've been doing everything within this one function. But really in Java, when you're writing a bigger program, or even small programs, you are going to have many classes. So what is a class? Well, this is one class, but it's not a very good one. It's just sort of the main class. Let's say you want to build an applications like an iTunes, so you want to keep songs. Uh, you'll probably want to build a song class. So to do that in Eclipse, you go here. There's this new Java class button. You press that. Then you give it the class a name. We're going to call it a song. Uh, we're not going to click here. There's only one main for the whole program. So the song is not going to have a main. And we just click Finish. So that's going to create this other file, song.java. You see they're both here, main.java and song.java. And song is empty. But once you have a song, we're going to give it some attributes. So for example, a song will have a name, which is a string. You probably want to document this, say the song name, and uh, maybe also oops, public string artist. This would be the artist who sings the song. Artist name. And uh, maybe in the duration of the song. Seconds, say. So there you go. We have a song. We just said, and what this file says is that a song has a name, which is a string, has an artist, which is also a string, and has a duration, which is an integer. And we go back to main, and I can use now that song as a new data type. So I can say song1s is new song. Like that. And then I can now, if I say s1 dot, it will pop up the various attributes I defined, like artist, duration, and name. So let's say I want the name of the song. It even gives me the documentation here, the song is name. Uh, the name of the song is uh, Chiquitita. And uh, then we're going to have to give it the artist name, which, as you know, is ABBA. And as one, the duration. I don't have to do all these, but I'm not sure how long it is, so I'm going to go with that. So there you go. That's how you use. So now S1. Is the song it has a name and an artist and a duration. I can, um, and I don't have to have just one. Of course, I can create a new song, another song, and uh, give that song S2 also a name. Um, Mamma Mia. And I don't have to give it anything else. And then, you know, I can uh, print out as one that name, for example. And I'm going to run that. And you see it prints out the song's name. So s1.name, let's say that's Chiquitita. And it prints out just fine. So that's nice, right? And similarly, I can print out s2.name. And that's that. So s1 and s2 are two up or also known as instances. So these are two special words we use, right? So S1 is an object or an instance of the class sung, right? We have one class, this is the class sung, and at runtime, we can create any number of instances of the class sung by simply calling new sung. So every time we call new song, it creates a new instance of the class song. These are very important words. An instance, you have to be, be able to distinguish between an instance of a class, which is S1, 
and the class itself, which is this file here. And so all there's only one class, sun, but there can be any number of instances which are declared at runtime. So mostly we use the classes to you know aggregate data like this. So now we have S1, I can pass S1 around, move it around as just one big chunk. Because uh, this is a song, and I can move it around. Uh, I can then, um, I can also define methods. So these are data members. This is a data member. So it just it simply holds data for the class song. But I can also define a method uh, for the song. So let's say you know I want to print out the song nicely. So I want to I want it to look like have the art the uh, the artist name and then a colon and then the song's name and then uh, maybe a colon and the duration. So I'm gonna need a public string uh, get name or well, I'm gonna call it get pretty name. And uh, what that is going to do is it's going to return the name of this song in a pretty way. So I'm going to go with artist, and then maybe so you have the artist name. Maybe it's space that dash, dash space. Um, maybe then the song name. So the name, and maybe a plus. Then maybe space parentheses. Then maybe pause, then the duration. We close that parenthesis. So how about that? So this is a method, right? Um, makes a pretty looking name. Turns the pretty name. And you can see we're saying that the method name is get pretty name. It doesn't take any arguments and it's going to return a string. And the body is the body. Right here is just one line in this case. All we're saying is return the artist. So this is going to be artist is an instance variable, right? Uh, it's going to return an artist and then kind of concatenate it with that, etc. Um, so let's see how this looks. Instead of printing as as one dot get pretty name, run that, and you see it prints out Alba that GPT four plus four. Nice thing is now you can do this. You can say s two print out s one and s two. And so it's going to print Ava, Chiquitita, and then Null, Mamma Mia. Null, obviously, because Song 2 doesn't have an artist, right? I only set Songs 2 name, and I also didn't set its uh, duration. So if I don't set the duration, it's going to be 0. If I don't set a string, it's going to be Null. Uh, so that's why those are appearing like that. Um, if you want to fix that, right? You probably would want to do that, right? So. You probably want to say if artist is null, uh, then you know I don't want to return the word null, so I probably want to return just that. Art unknown, and otherwise I'm going to return that. So I can run this program now. Now it says unknown. No, no, no. Like that. So uh, these are the various methods. You can have any number of methods and any number of data members. Um, and the other thing to note is that the word public here. So if you make it public, that means that I can change it. Or the guy using it changes it. So if I made it private, which I just did, I made name private. Now you see I get these red marks over here. It is saying, telling me that name, you know, it's not gonna work. I highlight that. It says the song name is not visible. Not visible means you can't write to it, right? Because it's private. 
you can't see it. So we can change its visibility uh, to the full, which is not a good idea. So just go with public, we can figure that like that. Okay. 